dun, dun, dun. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to the same old place that they laughed about. Though the dreams still remain since you hung around. You know what? Every time I be getting ready to make a video, I got to deal with this dog screaming and singing and barking like they want to get in on the act. I don't understand this. But let me just say, um, congratulations, Bootsy. I'm glad you're back home. I am hoping, <laughs> upon hope, uh, that this allows you to be a better, um, I guess, a better observer of your surroundings. And I'm hoping that your kids, I know, matter of fact, I know your kids are happy that you are home. Um, I don't know the specifics of your case and how much time that they want to give you after this bail. Hopefully, all charges will be dropped against you. Because, you know, I start thinking about stuff. And when I think about, like he, uh, Boosie said, the same charges in L.A. Smoking weed and getting caught two times. The third time was a charm. Well, if you in Louisiana, you that's a hard state. Louisiana is one of the worst prison uh, complexes for people in general, let alone black folk specifically. So I think that a lot of times y'all, we believe so much of what the media says that it becomes a situation where, um, now I'm not, I'm not, um, I want to make sure this is clear. This is clear. If Boosie has been involved in any murder, okay, and it has been proven, then everything that I'm saying is going up against the wall, okay? Because from what I know about the judicial system and what I know about how they operate is once they get you in their custody, they just start throwing, again, all kinds of stuff up against the wall to see what will stick against you. If that comes to making up lies, you remember like in the movie um, Set It Off. You remember when they sat there and they split, what was it, 15,000, 10,000? But when they heard that on the news, it was saying they had stole 100,000. That's how the news do it. It's propaganda, and that's all for insurance purposes so those people can file bigger claims when they know they didn't have that much money stolen from them. Okay. So I, I, I don't, I have to weigh everything real, real um, carefully when it comes to this judicial system and us in general. Now, like I said, I'm not out here caping for Boosie. I'm glad that he's out. He got too many kids uh, to be locked up. Okay. And y'all know what happens to black families and black kids in specific. More specifically, when their parents are incarcerated and the anger they carry from that is just, um, it, it's unmatched. Okay, that's all I can say. It's unmatched. So, again, I want to say congratulations. I'm glad you out. I'm sure everybody else is too. I hope you stay yourself out of trouble. I don't know when you're coming up to Milwaukee again, but hopefully um, Homer, I'll... You, you'll get hook up with him and I'll get a chance to see you. In the meantime, God bless you. Stay on your grind. But at the same time, watch, keep your grass cut low so you can see the snakes. And I'll see you in the next video.